last thing I would do when it comes to modeling, I would add a handle. So again, we can also nest not only um, a 2D families like profile, but we can also create a 3D generic model families and in, uh, load, them, load them into another family. So I will go to new family and create a metric generic model. Uh, I will go to the front and try, try to draw something, like an extrusion maybe. Let's see how it looks like. I think it's enough. Then parameterize this material. Okay. Save it. It's good to save the family before loading it so it has a, a good name. Generic models. And now load it into the family 9, which is our window. And now it's good to be in the interior view shaded create component this family will be all the families that are loaded into the family editor are 3d families are now um, treated as a components so we have only one window there and you see here i have uh, a little bit problem of of pasting it here i didn't have that but when I go to 3D, uh, let's see, you see it was placed on the reference level, uh, which is the default uh, behavior of the family. But when I go back to properties of the of these families, we have uh, here something called family category and parameters. This is a very powerful window, which can really uh, change the way um, family behaves in other uh, project or other families. First of all, you know that we can switch to other uh, categories in Revit there, but we have also other properties uh, that you can uh, modify. Some of them are very basic, um, like whether it can host rubber, this is pretty, host rubber, this is pretty self-explanatory, but here we have other powerful option, which is work plane based. If I change it, and go back to, uh, to to my window. Okay, delete this one. Now when I'm in an interior elevation and select component, you see that now these two options appear. I can place this object based on face or on a work plane. So now I can modify its position. So I will place it somewhere here. Mm. Now we need to attach it, uh, attach this uh, object to the window because if we, if the dimension will change, of course, it will not remember its position. Then, first of all, I would draw a reference plane here. Create a dimensions equal, and then using align tool, position it in this direction. You see. I don't have a reference plane that I can attach to it, to snap snap uh, to it, and it's another thing that you need to take care of. When I'm in a front view, I can draw another uh, reference plane, align it there, and when I select this reference plane, in the properties, I can change whether is a reference, strong reference, weak reference, or not a reference. Let's focus on this tree now. So if I'm selecting a weak reference and load it back into the project, okay. So if I'm not now uh, in my window family, when I try to align, I can find this reference plane. You see now it's visible. So 
I switch to it and select this one. In this direction, uh, the handle is positioned correctly. Now let's take care of this part. Maybe I will just simply align it to this sweep or better uh, would be to dimension it, change the position for example to 5 and lock this dimension. Now if I go to edit type I can also parameterize the material, material of it. I'm not sure how it will behave when I uh, create some offset, but this element remembers the work plane which is on it and will keep the position in this direction correctly.